Hi, it's Clarice. I'm making borscht. And first thing, I've got about three cups of water and I'm going to use uh, beef bouillon. You can use chicken as well or you can use vegetable. I'm using beef and I'm going to put the water on to start to boil while I get the vegetables ready. So I'm going to cut up half an onion So dice it up, it doesn't have to be super small. And then this big carrot, I'm going to dice up half of that. Now I've got the carrots and onion chopped up, so I'm going to add that to the pot. And next thing I'm going to, I washed a celery here. Chopped off the ends. So I'm going to chop that up, add it to the pot along with now these beets are frozen I um, the I was at the store and the fresh beets yeah they were really puny and expensive frozen beets were half the price so I thought well, this time around, I'm going to use frozen beets. So I'm just chopping them to more uh, bite size. Then I will add them to the pot along with the chopped up celery. So the beets are chopped up. It's about two cups, one large stalk of celery. So that's going to go into the pot. And now I would cut up about a cup of cabbage. But I have this cabbage already cooked because I made buttered cabbage as one of my vegetables for my supper. So I'm going to put that into the pot and then everything is going to simmer until it's soft. So probably half hour, I would think. So here's the soup simmering. Well, it hasn't simmered yet, but right away. So it's got about two cups of shredded cabbage, two cups of beets, and stalk of celery, half a big carrot. Um, I'm just going to turn it down a bit here. And it's got onion in it. Beef bouillon. So I'm just going to let it simmer. Half hour, three quarters of an hour till everything is kind of uh, incorporated, the flavor, and everything is cooked. The soup has been simmering eh, three quarters of an hour. Now, in a lot of uh, borscht recipes, they also cube up potato. I didn't because I have here about a cup of mashed potato left over from yesterday's Easter lunch. So I wanted to use that because I don't like to have leftovers sitting around. So I'm just going to let that simmer a bit, but also I'm going to add 
frozen corn kernels and a half a cup. So that's that. And I'll let it simmer for about 15 more minutes and then it'll be ready. Sorry, I forgot I also wanted to add beans. Now I have navy white beans, so I'm going to add about one cup of that. And really, I think this time that's it. So here is the finished soup. And I put some in a bowl here. Mmm, delicious. So if you like beets, I'm sure you'll enjoy this soup. It can be modified based on your likes of various vegetables, but at least you have somewhere to start. Hope you enjoy it.